My name's Stuart Mott. I'm the vascular access nurse that a lot of you have talked to about touch cannulation and cushion cannulation. Tonight, I've been very glad that I've got a person today that I can actually show you how this all works and how it combines to work, especially for you people on home dialysis. This man has the Emla cream on that he's put on an hour and a half ago. I'm taking that off here with a strip that pulls it off. I'm laying it over here, my assistant's behind me, which is his wife that normally does the cannulation. But they're going to let me do this tonight so I can show you just exactly how this touch cannulation works and how it goes together. And I've got to get another glove now when you do this because that stuff has been uh, contaminated. I pay her a high salary, by the way. <laughs> she gets a glass of wine after this. This is a piece of just styrofoam, all right? And this is set next to the patient when you got to go in at a different angle, like this. Instead of going up, we're going to come in here on the side. And now I'm going to get a 10 cc. Oh, do you want to clean first? Clean first. Up to you. Clean first. Yeah, that Emma. We're going to clean and we start at the area where we're going to cannulate the actual buttonhole and work out in a circle. Just like they tell you to do, this is something that we do together. You want another one? Please. They have a special on these going on tonight. Buy one, get one free <laughs> for all you people. And I'm going up to the other buttonhole here area and do the same thing there. Work that around. I hope my shiny head is not interfering with the taking the pictures of this. Now, this is a 10 cc dry syringe, and this is especially important for people who have low blood pressure or for any other particular reason. When they've got low blood pressure, like this man has a lot, tonight he does not, we're going to cannulate. So here's touch cannulation. Pull this back to the bang, this all the way back. You lay the needle down flat on a surface anywhere. You take your th thumb and forefinger and wrap around. Bring these fingers around like this. Push down on this particular thing here so we can get to where we want to go to cannulate right here. So now I'm That's taking... Fun. Thank you very much, ma'am. Bevel up, pad down, palm of hand down, angle is associated with it. We're going right in here. I'm going to take my four fingers, wrap around here, and the thumb goes right here on this plunger. So that's how you do it. As soon as the needle tip goes into the skin, you start with a little bit of back pressure. So with a low blood pressure person, this thing will flash back immediately upon getting into the vessel. So here we go. I got my four fingers wrapped around. I got everything ready to rock here. And here we go. I'm starting back pressure a little bit on the needle. And you see the flashback. Now as this needle is going in, I continue to pull back on the plunger. That way if the plunger stops or anything, it tells me I'm up against something. So there is a perfect cannulation example of touch cannulation with a 10cc. I push the blood back to right there, clamp it off, take the tape and tape it down. You see there is steel showing. You do not hub the needle. There is the first needle placement. Now, for the second one, you see the blood's up in here. You can continue to push that little bit back if you want to. A little bit too much. There, right there. Now, needle number two, he's going to roll the arm back over. And with the buttonhole is right there. It's very difficult to see because he uses a scrubber method where we're going to show you tomorrow night. Another 10 cc. Placed on there, same thing, four fingers wrapped around, the thumb goes underneath, 
the plunger, picked it up, got it wrapped around. This goes on the on the arm itself, the hand does. I bring it over and I go for the angle I need to cannulate. So you adjust the angle doing this. So I'm down once again, fingers all together. I need to make it a little bit different, so I'm going into that about that 25 degree angle. And here we go, a little bit of back pressure. Slowly, you never cannulate buttonholes fast. And we've gone the whole distance, so we've missed it. Start Looks point up. towards that other buttonhole at the top. That's your mark. Right. There's a the flashback. Slowly bring it up. Steel tubing's out. Push back. Tape, please. Yep. Come on. I pay my assistance very well. <laughs> next, now for your next magical trick. Yeah. <laughs> and there you go. That is touch cannulation at its finest. I'm so glad I have this opportunity to show you this actually going on. This is our home dialysis machine sitting over there. We are ready to connect, so what we're going to do is pull this out. Clamp it off. Any pain? You okay? Talk to me. No, I'm doing fine. All right. So now the arm, let me get this out of here where there's any air. How we do, what we do now next is you pick up the whole pillow and rotate the arm to this when he moves on to the bed. Now he's doing nocturnal dialysis. I should have said that in the first. Okay? And it goes.